I just wonder if you think we can get a gain without a trade deal. This is the end live question of the day. Um, it seems like we have so far. Uh, I'm sure that nobody's super optimistic about a trade deal here, and we've still seen stocks rally. Can they continue to rally without a trade deal out of the G20? I think they rally a little bit, so it's going to be very modest indeed, Matt. And I think, you know, on, on the trade side, I think you've got three scenarios. Uh, scenario one is we get a trade deal. My assign, I would assign a very low probability to that. Scenario two um, is that we get an escalation in the trade conflict. We get, you know, those tariffs imposed at the end of this month on 325 billion of, uh, of Chinese exports. Um, I don't think China or America are positioned for that escalation. Escalation. So, yes, it's a tail risk, but it wouldn't be my central case scenario. My central case scenario is uh, we have a standstill, we get further uh, negotiations in the second half of this year. We might eventually end up with a trade deal at the beginning of 2020, but I think it's naive to assume a trade deal in the near term. Now, if we get a standstill, I think that's market supportive, but don't expect there's a very strong gains in equity markets that we've had in the last month. It's interesting to see uh, the euro. I mean, Anna mentioned that I was in Sintra, and it's pretty, uh, you know, we got a new handle, 111 there. We even had President Trump tweeting about how unfair it was for Mario D to, 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 make, those, to make that dovish pivot and um, in the president's assessment, uh, create an unfair advantage for European trade. Now we've seen the euro bounce back up um, to 114. Uh, a viewer writes in and says, do you think the dollar could weaken further against the euro with this economic and political situation in Europe? If yes, which target do you foresee? Uh, the answer is yes. I do think the dollar is going to weaken across the board. I think it's quite interesting that in the last week, uh, we had, as you mentioned, that, uh, that strong rebound in the euro after the temporary weakness on Draghi's comments. Uh, I think the second observation, of course, is we've had a weak dollar really across the board against the yen. Um, the Canadian dollar's recovered quite strongly. Uh, emerging FX uh, really everywhere has recovered strongly. In, you know, currencies like the Brazilian Royale, Chinese renminbi has, has improved back through uh, 690. So uh, across the board, dollar weakness. And also, let's highlight uh, the movement in gold. Uh, and, you know, gold is essentially an alternative currency. And this move through 1400 on gold, I think, is, is, a, is a factor of dollar weakness. So to come back to the question, yes, further dollar weakness, my target for end of September, and we all know targets come with a, a you can't guarantee, there's a, there's a big risk of being wrong, but I would target uh, close to 118, possibly 120 by uh, the end of September against uh, on dollar euro.